but there is still time on the clock. Even quarantine couldn't help the Wizards win games. What is going on, Washington fans? I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'm coming at you with my reaction to the Wizards and Spurs game as the Wizards fall 101 to 121 and fall to 3 and 9, lose in blowout fashion to the San Antonio Spurs, who are now 9 and 8. What can you say, man? After a long period of time without Wizards basketball, it was it felt like the Wizards hadn't played in like a year, but they were out. They were without Rui Hachimura and some other key guys due to COVID tracing. But Russell Westbrook was back in the lineup tonight. He started. Bradley Beal also started. Jerome Robinson also started. I'll get to him in a second. Robin Lopez started. And also Isak Bongo started. So that was our starting five. You know, just another loss to a San Antonio team, which isn't bad. But it's just if we can't be a playoff team, if we can't win games consistently. And we're not looking like that team that can win games. <laughs> So for us, Isak Wanga had 7.7 7 rebounds, 1 assist. Bradley Bill, just another great game, 31 points, 4 assists, 7 rebounds. Robin Lopez, 8, 7, 5. Jerome Robinson, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Bright spot. He started today and he played well. Russell Westbrook had a great game, 9 points, 6 assists, 8 rebounds. Garrison Matthews, 9 points, 4 rebounds. But I'm happy that Garrison Matthews got some minutes. Cassius Winston, the Michigan State legend, had 8 points, 2 assists, uh, four rebounds and Alex Len, who we did sign uh, uh, this week or last week, had 11 points, five rebounds, one assist, the former Terp. And we also signed Jordan Bell, the former Warrior Center. So we're, we, or we have added some depth to the center position. Now, for the Spurs, you know, DeMar DeRozan had nine points, eight assists, three rebounds. LaMarcus Allred had 15 and two. DeJounte Murray had triple double, 11 points, 10 assists, 11 rebounds. Lonnie Walker had 16 points, one assist, two rebounds. Devin Vassell had 14, four and one. Rudy Gay had 13 and six. Patty Mills had 21, four and three. And we shot 42.4% from the field goal range. We shot 42 three pointers, only made 14, which was 33.3%. From the free throw line, we were 64.3%, nine of 14. Just not good. We did out rebound them by six, but then again, dude, we, we lose by twenty. Just not a good night, and we just we need help, man. You gotta give Brad some help. Like sooner or later, he's gonna want to leave, and I'm surprised he hasn't asked for a trade yet. Or if he has, he's being real patient with the front office. I don't know, man. I just don't know. There was a speculation that we could uh, that we're gonna trade Russell Westbrook for Andre Drummond. I don't know. We need a center, Russell Westbrook. That experiment hasn't gone. It's not looking so well so far. So I don't know what to say, man. This Wizards team just always finds a way to lose games. And, you know, their next game is against the Rockets on Wednesday, tomorrow. So John Wall revenge game, I don't know. Should be interesting. I'll make a post-game reaction to that. Just the Wizards being the Wizards. Oh, gosh. But that's pretty much it for the Wizards. Let me go on to some Washington football team news. So they did make what uh, uh I forgot this the guy from San Francisco they hired it was him and Matt Herney are similar in names, but they made him GM. Matt Herney is not the GM, he's in another position, but it's also high in executive role. They will be parting ways with Kyle Smith, which is something that I didn't want to see. Kyle Smith drafted some key studs. The past couple of years, Cameron Crow, Chase Young, Antonio Gibson, Terry McLaurin, Cole Holcomb, the list goes on. I, I really wanted to see Kyle Smith be our GM, but he was part of that Bruce Allen era and Ron Rivera. He likes him. He likes his Carolina Panthers as we are the Washington Panthers. He likes his guys that he knows and is familiar with. So in Ron, we trust. But hopefully like the scouting department kind of stays the same because Kyle Smith was fed, fed that information. So some of the scouts stay but. I think Ron is changing it up. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But it's going to be interesting to see how they tackle the draft this year. We have two third-round picks, our second and a first at 19. So that should be fun to watch. Now, in QB news, Matthew Stafford, the quarterback from the Lions at age 32 or 33, I believe, he is parting ways with the Lions this offseason via trade. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, do we think Ron Rivera will pull the trigger for this guy who's arguably like the reason why the Lions were relevant the past 10 years? I mean, the guy's just a baller. Like, durability shouldn't be an issue. Like, 
prior to the last two years, he played all 16 games of the season. So I don't know, like a first for Stafford is what Adam Schefter was reporting. That's the line. They want a first round pick. That's the line's uh, asking price. But, you know, a first round pick at night, I just, I wouldn't do it, man. Like maybe a second and fifth, but a first round pick, nah, I don't know. This is going to be an, an interesting offseason, like I said before. And we'll see, man. I'll make more updates to see what comes. But that's pretty much it for our DC teams. Not a good day for the Wizards. And the Washington football team made some changes in front office. And the quarterback situation is still heating up. All right, guys. Peace. Head of the Wizards and the football team.